your boy Crypto Tone coming at you with another video. So, big news in, big news in, guys. Cryptocurrency index fund follows Warren Buffett's playbook, but with a $1 million bet against the SMP. So, this is from CNBC, guys. Let's check this out. Cryptocurrency asset manager is mimicking the playbook of one of the industry's most notable critics, Warren Buffett. Morgan Creek Digital is recreating Buffett's famous $1 million wager, pitting the performance of the S&P 500 against a group of hedge funds. But unlike the famous value investor, Morgan Creek is betting against the S&P and placing its faith in the 10-year performance of cryptocurrency. For those of you who don't know who Morgan Creek is, um, Anthony Pomp Pompliano and a few others are the ones who run the show over there, and they're big on Twitter, and they're always bullish on crypto. The crypto investing firm calls the challenge Buffett's Bet 2.0 and invites any investor who believes the S&P 500 will produce better returns than their basket of cryptocurrency over a decade to the other side of the bet. Anthony Pompliano, co-founder and partner at Morgan Creek Digital, said whoever takes the other side will likely be someone with the same outlook as Buffett. <clears throat> It'll be either someone who is bullish on the S&P 500 or someone who thinks cryptocurrencies are worthless or overvalued. So as we know, there are many of those critics out there. However, are they going to take him up on his bet? I highly doubt it. This is a combination of our outlook, not only for the upside of cryptocurrencies, but also the outlook of public, public equities. Pompliano told CNBC in a phone interview, a lot of people might look at this and just think we're bullish on crypto. But you need to look at what asset we're going up against. Public equities, equities aren't exactly at all time highs either. And as we know, cryptocurrencies have outperformed uh, public equities now for years. So this is just um, something I would not take the other side of the bet on. Pompliano pointed to recent losses in FANG stocks and other investor favorites. These once high-flying tech stocks have taken a beating lately, with Facebook leading the group down with a 24% loss over the year. Still, the losses look minor compared to cryptocurrencies. Bitcoin, the world's largest and best-known cryptocurrency, was down 37% in November alone. The digital currency has dropped 73% this year after climbing to almost 20,000. I believe that's incorrect. It has dropped almost 83%, guys, from its all-time highs of around 19. Uh, some exchanges hit 20,000, uh, but typically it's like around 19.6 or 19.7. So if you do the math and you look at the chart, it is actually 83% roughly. Morgan Creek was co-founded by Mark Yusko, former chief investment officer of the University of North Carolina's endowment. The index fund, the result of a partnership with Bitwise, offers accredited investors like professional investors and high net worth individuals access to a basket of top cryptocurrencies by market value. Ampliano said the index fund, which requires a minimum $50,000 investment, was structured to give similar exposure to the S&P 500 just with cryptocurrencies. Buffett, who recently called cryptocurrencies rat poison squared, took a $1 million bet against asset manager protege partners in 2007. The billionaire investor wagered his own money that a passive investment in the S&P 500 would outperform a, outperform a sample of five actively managed hedge funds. Buffett won the bet in 2017 with the S&P returning about 7% compounded annually versus a 2.2% from the hedge funds, whose names were not publicly, publicly disclosed. Similarly, Morgan Creek partners are personally funding their side of the $1 million bet and said they would not be relying on money from the fund. They still need whoever takes the opposite side of their bet to agree but Pompliano said the intention is for the winner to donate the proceeds to charity. So big, big, big stuff going on there, guys. Like I said, the fundamentals on Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies are there. The infrastructure is being built out now. I would never take the other side of this bet because I know in the back of my mind that in 10 years, forget about it. Cryptocurrencies will be on the damn moon, in my opinion. So let's take a look at. Bitcoin right now. So we're looking at the weekly chart here, guys. We are in this crazy bear market. And as you guys know, we are down tremendously. Um, the 200-day moving average, which is floating around 4150 um, on the weekly is, uh, you know, was tested. It's coming back down. Do we see lower lows, guys? 
highly possible. However, we have to keep into consideration that the RSI on the weekly is extremely low. I expect for it to at least get oversold before we see a major bounce, which will be um, you know, around these levels, obviously. I was hoping that we would touch it today. Maybe we still will, not really sure. But if we look at historicals on, the, um, <clears throat> on when Bitcoin hits these types of levels, it typically bounces. As you can see over here, back in 2014, it bounced, it came back up, it bounced again under, which was around 27 on the RSI, and it bounced back up. We also got to keep in mind that the daily RSI has never seen levels that it's seen in the past few weeks. Let's take a look at the daily. So the daily went all the way down to about a nine on the RSI, which is unbelievably low. And it's still under this purple 30 line right here, hovering around 28 right now. So potential for more downside is, of course, possible. However, there is more potential for the upside due to the fact that we do need a bounce so in my opinion a bounce is imminent if you're taking a short right now you're taking an extreme risk although um, many believe that we will go a bit lower in my opinion again we can go lower however if we do go lower we're only going to come back stronger because the fundamentals are already there and these cryptos have been beaten to death almost on some of these things i mean it's just unbelievable how beaten up these things have gotten in the past uh you know th this past year i don't think a lot of us saw this coming um we all thought you know maybe this would end at some certain point however this point right now is just um you know just uh just getting a bit too much at this you know at this point in my opinion um so if we take a look at um the percentages we are down um <clears throat> let's take a look at the you know from the from the peak all the way down to where we're at. So around, I'm not at the top of the peak exactly, but if we uh, go to where we are today at 3545, which is where we um, pretty much bottomed out roughly, um, we'll bring this up to, I don't know, exactly where it's supposed to be, which is, hold on, hold on, hold on. So about right there. So yeah, we're about 82% down currently. If we are to, um, you know, go down to let's say, um, let's just say 2,000, we'd be roughly at a 90% retrace. So that is not, not, not typical in crypto. We do see a lot of retracements like that, especially a lot of altcoins that have retraced tremendously. Um, do I think this is going to happen? Again, I am not a uh, a masochist or a psychic i really can't tell you whether or not it's going to do that however you know the like i said the harder it gets hit the harder it'll come back in my opinion so hopefully we see a bounce soon um you know if we do great if not then we just have to wait a bit longer Stotch rsi is about to curl up and is down at low levels giving us a potential buy signal um, you know, the, the, the MACD is just looking horrendous. Um, you know, can't get much worse than this, or maybe it can, um, until it actually starts to, uh, curl back up. We did have a cross here and then of course we crossed back down. So this was pretty much a fake out. So MACD is not always the best indicator, obviously. And in the, at the end of the day, this is really just ran by whales for the most part. Um, you know, uh, Bitcoin is, is just a game for a lot of these guys. So if we go down to the level that a lot of people think it's going to go down to, we'd be at about an 85% retrace, which would probably be the best spot for a bounce. However, we have a lot of, a uh, lot of things here. We got the 200 day moving average. We have backed coming on fundamentals. We have potential ETF approval. We have so many things in the works. It's not even funny. So. What do you guys think? Would you take this bet if you had a million bucks? I know my ass wouldn't, but hey, if you if you would, good for you. With that being said, thank you for watching. Subscribe for the next video. If you like the video, please give me a thumb up.
Thank you for watching. Subscribe for the next video. If you like the video, please give me a thumb up.